It's estimated 300 million people are on dating apps. And believe it or not, users face three times mm -hmm. the amount of stress than those who are not looking online for love. We've got psychotherapist Mary Jo Rapini here with the impacts that these apps have on our mental health. Good morning. Good morning, and they sure do. And most of it is because of the addictive quality that comes with using them. Mm -hmm. And if you're online, does it just interfere with how we really communicate typically or we used to back in the good old days of in person? It sure does because you don't attach to them. So many times you're saying meaner things, you're talking, you know, less appropriate and putting stuff out that you wouldn't on a first date or second date, really, if you were in person. Mm -hmm. Typically, you do think of social media as harming self-esteem, but how do dating apps hurt it because people are swiping with a look like they're not going any deeper than the cover and so people start getting more critical of themselves because they're like I don't look as good they didn't like me they didn't give me an emoji mm. or whatever you're looking for whatever mm -hmm. that addictive thing is and so you start feeling worse about yourself more critical you compare more mm -hmm. and that's why it's really bringing down those self-esteem too many choices diminishing relationship success mm. so let's go through some guidelines because because this sounds stressful. Yeah. So how can we make sure that people are staying healthy as far as their mental health is concerned? The most important thing you can do is to be honest with your profile. Because if you're really going on them to find a possible potential partner, then you want to be honest on your half. Don't touch up the photos then. That's right. However right. easy that is to do. Yep. Mm -hmm. And don't edit. Just be who you are. Mm -hmm. And remember that they might not like it. You might not get a like or anything else, but you're going for quality not quantity mm -hmm. yes you don't want any surprises that's you know, right when that first date maybe does happen okay your suggestion is one app at a time mm -hmm. why is that because most of my clients using apps are on about five of them and they're checking all of them so you know right away they're not being completely honest so use one app at a time and you limit the time you're on them it's very important that you you set a time and you discipline yourself once or twice a day I'm gonna check in that's it mm -hmm. there are so many options I would think that people almost get numb to boundaries, but you got to make sure that you're your own individual and you put those up, right? That's right. You have to put boundaries up. And people say, well, I don't want to be that pushy. I don't want to limit them. Oh, yes, you do. Because you want them to know what they're getting into. That's how you're going to know somebody that's mm -hmm. really up to your standard and what you need in a relationship. Yeah. We all got married before apps. Really <laughs> Thank <became> God. Popular, <laughs> right? But where do you find that if people want to meet in real life these days? Days. Where are the best places to do it? Is it the same tried and true, like, work? Well, you know, <laughs> well, yeah, work. I, yeah, he knows. I met my husband yeah. at work, not here, but another place. I, uh, where most of my clients are meeting people are doing things that they really like, and mm -hmm. then they're happy. That comes across as very sexy. So things like, even if it's a garden club, a birding club, <laughs> I've had people that go out hiking, they travel single, and then they end up meeting their perfect mm -hmm. match while they're traveling. Oh, that'd be I, fun. Yeah, or homes for a habitat. Mm -hmm. Habitat for Humanity. Yes. I have ha gone to more weddings for people, me, really? volunteering for that agency. Go build a house there together. Yes. 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 Good. You'll get to know them Volunteering. Quick. Because volunteering. then if you're volunteering, whether it's, it's at a pet shelter or if it's with children, you probably mm -hmm. have some of the same interests. That's right. Yeah. When you volunteer, not only that, you're giving back so you feel good about yeah. yourself. I do think the face and your whole, your whole what you bring to the table changes when you like who you are. Mm -hmm. When you're down about yourself and you're looking for Mr. Right, you go in right away, you're mm -hmm. critical. That's not the way to no. do it. Be your best self first. That's yeah. right. All right, Mary Jo, thank you. Thanks for having me. And you look ready ready. I wish we had a boot cam I'm, on Yeah, I know. Today. You know what? I'm ready to go. I am ready <laughs> to go. You're going to have to music. post those. Yes. They're looking good. <laughs> okay. I need to borrow them, girl. Let's Anytime. Right. We'll see you soon. Bye. Uh, our Houston